For the last half century, an elite organization called the Bilderberg Group has met annually all around the world in total secrecy, behind closed doors and with no official press coverage. It started in 1954 when the world's most powerful people joined forces in the Netherlands at Hotel Bilderberg, where Prince Bernhard, a former Nazi party member, was integral in its formation. Last year it was in Zurich, Switzerland. It was believed that the group discussed how to handle the Arab Spring at that conference. And this year they're meeting in the wealthy city of Chantilly, Virginia, right next to Washington, D.C. The group is comprised of 130 or so of the world's top elites in politics, banking, food, oil, media, and national defense. Some of the most notable attendees have been Ben Bernanke, Bill Clinton, Timothy Geithner, Bill Gates, Tony Blair, and Colin Powell. Others include Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands, Prince Charles, jo Prince Charles, George Soros, and Alan Greenspan. Henry Kissinger and David Rockefeller are integrally involved as members of the Bilderberg Steering Committee, which is responsible for carefully crafting who will be attending the meetings every year. Some have called the Bilderberg Group a harmless think tank or just a discussion group, but people who have been following it for years say there's something much more sinister at the root. They claim that the group gets together to plan world policy for a new world order of global domination at the subjugation of the rest of humanity. Unfortunately, you won't hear much of a peep about the group's dealings or even the existence of it on the corporate media. This could be because the media moguls that have attended are sworn to secrecy. Check out what Rockefeller has said about the media coverage of Bilderberg. In his memoirs, multi-billionaire David Rockefeller said, quote, some even believe we're part of a secret cabal working against the best interests of the United States, characterizing my family and me as internationalists, and of conspiring with others around the world to build a much more integrated global political and economic structure. One world, if you will. And if that's the charge, I stand guilty, and I'm proud of it. He also allegedly said that he's grateful to media outlets like the Washington Post, the New York Times, whose magazine directors have attended their meetings and promised to keep it discretionary for almost 40 years, saying it would have been impossible for the group to develop its plan for the new world if it would have been subject to the lights of publicity during all those years. And while the public might not know exactly what's going on there, many people agree that the people who attend the meetings are the world's most powerful movers and shakers. Just take a look at this Drudge poll. It's a poll conducted to ask people what they really think of the Bilderberg Conference. Over half of the people that polled were said that the people who attend the conference are the real power masters of the world. 14% say they think it's just a false conspiracy theory. And 35% say it's a little bit of both. Nonetheless, the secret meeting is definitely coming more and more into the public eye, whether the participants want it to or not. Meanwhile, while Bilderberg attendees were questioned by independent journalists about what really goes on there, they completely skirt the issue or even deny having attended in some instances. So what is really going on in these meetings? Well, all weekend I'll be in Chantilly, Virginia, covering the Bilderberg Group to see if we can get a scoop about the, what the people there are thinking. Thousands are expected to protest and they'll be there in protest at the conference and I will be getting coverage and getting back to you on that.